Well, tonight the information is graphic and disturbing. We are learning more details on the triple murder that left a mother and her two young sons dead in the basement of their home in North Spokane. And according to court records, one of those boys was sexually assaulted. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us live tonight. Aaron, we're also learning more about how that murder suspect died. Mike, the medical examiner says 22-year-old Dustin Gilman died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. What may have died with him is why this terrible tragedy happened. The teddy bears and stuffed animals on this cold concrete corner should really have been inside on two young boys' beds for Valentine's Day. They were really good kids. They were thoughtful, thankful. But instead of class, Damien and Caden Ader were found dead in their basement on Friday night. Their mom, Tracy, a few feet away. With her hands tied behind her back, duct tape across her mouth laying face down on a mattress. Police say it appears all three were strangled. Life-saving measures were not able to be taken. It was obvious that all three victims had been dead for at least several hours by the time police officers got there. An affidavit says one of the boys was found with a rope around his neck. One was sexually assaulted. Tracy may have suffered the same way. There's indications that we believe she may have been sexually assaulted, but we don't know that for sure. 22-year-old Dustin Gilman took one of the boys' phones that night and called his dad, confessing to a crime, but not telling the whole truth. He had shot somebody, he was up in the woods and he was lost, and he wasn't going back to jail. It wasn't until Monday morning that a SWAT and canine team found him dead on a cliff in North Spokane. We're not sure, certain how he got out here. Um, that's one of the things that's still in our investigation. The medical examiner says he shot himself in the head. He's a coward in my eyes. He took the easy way out. So I'm, I'm glad he's dead. A day set aside for love, now filled with the painful question. As long as they're in a better place, then I'm okay. But it's kind of like a why question in my mind because, like, it's why would somebody do this to somebody? Police also discovered a legal medical marijuana grow in the basement at the Aders house. They also say there were some surveillance cameras inside. So far, that hasn't proved to have any usable evidence with that. Reporting in North Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.